In this PowerPoint mini makeover video, I want to show you how you can take a slide that looks like this, that has way too many points and too many words on it, and convert it into something like this, which is going to be much more accessible, concise, and visually appealing. And we do this by using smart art and good old fashioned revision. Here's how it works. I presented this slide last week at a meeting and I wasn't particularly proud of it. This was for a meeting about how central office in the school district goes about reserving rooms for widespread district training days. So this is when we start calling the campuses and asking them to use their rooms and we were meeting with the campus secretaries. So when I look back at this slide, the first thing that I see is yes, there were way too many points on this slide way too many words on this slide. And when we have too many words on the slide, what ends up happening is that our participants are reading the slide instead of listening to us talk. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of some words. And in this case, it's pretty easy because when I look over the information that I included, I made one cardinal mistake. And that mistake is including everything that was relevant to me as a presenter instead of just that which was relevant to my audience. And we have to remember in all presentations, whether it's a meeting or a big professional learning session, the presentation is never about us as presenters. It's not even really about the content. The presentation is about our audience and their relationship with that content. So when I look back at this page here, I see that I've talked about how our office, Professional Learning, opens up a database. We have this communication with the groups who are training. We go back and notify those training groups of what facilities we reserved for them, and our campus audience really doesn't care as much about all of those steps. And it's important to us, but we don't need to represent that visually for our audience. What we want to do is pare down to just the pieces that are relevant to our audience. So once I've deleted everything that is not relevant to my audience, I already have a much more manageable list and I'm not done yet. So when I look at this list that I've now curated where I've combined the first items and let them know that yes, professional learning is going to collect room requests. Then we're going to contact campuses. Everything here is starting with something that professional learning does. And if it's the same all the way across, well, then this becomes unnecessary wording. So I can reword these bullet points or these numbers a little bit so I can take out some of the extraneous wording. So instead of professional learning collects room requests, I can just say collect room request and change these verb tenses all the way across. And now this is all a little bit shorter. And now I have to look again. Can I condense this again? So a lot of times revising a PowerPoint comes down to condensing information and condensing information and condensing information. And I see I can collapse items four and five. I create a district training day chart. I create and submit campus contact charts. And com we combine these together into one item. And yes, we can. So having done that, now I get into the fun part, which is actually converting all of this into smart art. So now I have the information that I want to include the slide moved down into my notes section, and I'm going to move it back up after I add in my smart art. But I need to get some smart art in there. So I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to choose smart art, and choose one that I think is going to meet my needs, and click OK. And now I can just start to actually cut and paste my text up into the smart art and one wonderful thing about the smart art is it does force me to be concise with the words that I use because when you put a lot of text in there it just doesn't look very good so I've got all of my information now put into my smart art accidentally got an extra piece there so we already have an improvement and now if I want to I can actually play around by going back up to my design tab 
and then start to experiment with how this will look with different forms of smart art. And I actually happen to know that this one will look pretty good once I go into the segmented list. My final step is going to be to play with my colors a little bit so I can make each one of these steps stand out a little bit more, maybe even look at some of my smart art styles to see, okay, you know, I like the way that one works. So now I've taken very quickly from a text-based slide that had just far too many words on it and was not of great value to my participants and changed it into something that is more relevant to their needs, it's easier to look at, and by telling them less, I will actually help them learn more. Thank you.